Hey everybody. <laughs> Good morning. I have a huge box. It's a pretty huge box. And, um, from Bob's Bread Mill. Of jumbo pins and some sets. Not, you know, like huge like frame sets, but some smaller sets. Um, mm, Three-fourths of these are my dad's. Some of these are mine. I've just been, when I come across them, when I'm going through stuff in the house, because their pins are like scattered everywhere. I've just been sticking them in a box. <laughs> like I'm sticking all my tiny pins in a box, and you know, I'm kind of like sorting them, getting them ready for videos. And I have, we have way more than this, but I just wanted to start with the video to show you, because it's definitely going to be more than one video. It's probably going to be two or three. But this is going to be showing you guys some really cool unusual and older and not as many newer ones um, jumbo pins and pin sets the first thing I'm gonna do is put on my white cotton gloves not only because I have sweaty hands but I buy these off Amazon you guys the Zillor brand is really good they're super thin they're cotton they're disposable when they get like dirty or ripped or whatever pins um, the ones that have the metal on them that aren't like top coated, that had just plain, you know, metal. If you touch them with your fingers and get your natural oil from your fingerprints on them and then just put them back up, you won't know the fingerprints on there until you take it back out of your closet a few years from now and then it'll be tarnished and ruined. Trust me, I've done it with my pins. It's good to not touch the, like I said, the ones that have metal element and stuff on it. So I just use the gloves just to handle it with. My dad actually polishes up his pins by using like a car polish. He'll use like a diaper wipe or something to wipe them off real fast, dry them really good. Well, they're not really wet, but you know, make sure there's no moisture and then he polishes them up with like a polish. So, pin trading started in 1999 and 2000 at Epcot. Before that, you could only get pins as souvenirs. Like you go into the gift store, you know, you buy your you know, your photo album or your stuffed toy and you bought uh, like a Mickey pin or an Epcot pin to take home and to wear and just to have as a souvenir. There wasn't actual trading. It wasn't like a huge, you know, thing. Um, so it's, I love seeing retro pins that were sold as gifts before the trading came out. And that's what this is. I'm sure you guys have seen these pins around. I've seen these pins around. But when my dad showed me this, I was like, oh my gosh, because I've never seen the the complete set like in its you know entirety from 1986 from Disneyland you guys that's so old here we go Ooh, it's in a it has a really nice wooden frame around it it looks like oak um, just like kind of different from the ones you see now it has that retro old look to it you know and this is not a pin it's like a plaque they stick on there it just says commemorative pin set Disneyland 1986 and these are the tiny little pins like I said I'm sure you might have seen a few of these around individually there it says 1986 here are the pins now these pins have a straight back on them, not the classic pin ones you have now, but like the old safety pin style because of their age. Um, I've not seen that one around. That one's a cool one. I have actually a few of these in my store. Funny thing is that right now the pins, they aren't really valuable. I mean, those pins sell for like $5. Uh, but it was $50 in the 80s. That's a lot. The valuable part, not that I go on value, I don't really care about pins and their value, I just like what I like. The valuable part to me would be that it's the complete old set with the frame and everything that you just don't see. Next! Ooh, this is so exciting! What is this? Disney Store, limited edition of 400. Oh, it doesn't show what it is, you have to open it up. So it's the Disney Store UK, uh, Europe not ours since I'm here in Florida next to Disney World <gasps> Ooh, those are gorgeous I've never seen those before these are my dad's <laughs> those are really pretty they're little TVs and the paint on the background is like a metallic shiny gorgeous those are so nice 
Let's see what else we have. Mickey Circus. That is a pin event at Epcot, like the one that's going on uh, in a few days here. Um, they have the yearly pin events. This was Mickey Circus. This is a set. Probably like a parting gift you get, you know, when you leave. They're limited edition of a thousand. They're just like the Bugs Life characters. They're cute. And just so you know, um, extra, I think we have two sets of these. Extras of these I don't want, like I'm going to go through all these, and the ones that me and my dad don't want, they'll end up in my online pin store at everythingmousypins.com, which is my little, my baby. I work on it every day, my pin store. And we also have this circus from the same event from 2012. It's a jumbo. Very pretty. I'll show you up close. It is a limited edition of a thousand. Here's the box set. We have the guy on the bottle cap, the praying mantis. We have, um, I'm not going to say them all. I don't even know their names. <laughs> and then the jumbo. Come on, come all. Look at Minnie on her horse. I love horses. And Figment and Dumbo. It's so pretty. Oh, and Dumbo flies. That's nice. I think I'll have an extra one of these also. Let's see what this stuff is. These are unusual little containers. They're usually from like Hong Kong and they're older. I really don't know what's in these. I can't wait to find out. This, I know what that is, just from seeing it for so many years. We had a few of these sets. Um, probably like five or six of them because, see, sorry about all my long stories, you guys, but a long time ago when we moved down here at the end of events, their extra merchandise, they would not like stick them out for sale for regular people because it wasn't quite fair to the people who had to pay, you know, 100, 200, 300 dollars to go to an event to buy the merchandise. It wouldn't be fair just to let everyone else buy it afterwards. So back then they would have what they called a salsa sale. It was for cast members and um, they would take all their extra like pins from an event and reduce them a lot and just kind of have a little sale that all the cast members could go to. Well, my mom and Trevon, I don't know if he was a cast member back then or he might have went with a friend, but they would go to these salsa sales and they would buy this stuff for so cheap. This was $75 at the Star Wars Weekend's 2010 event and it's LEF 500. But when they went there, I mean, you might have got them for like 20 bucks. And so we'd buy a lot of sets because back then we'd go to the contemporary nights every month. They have one for free that everyone can go to, a pin trading um, event. And we would just take all these extra cheap pins that we got and just trade them. That's why we got so many nice pins so long ago. Is we just get lots of cheap pins, trade them, and keep the ones we like. So this is the Star Wars vehicle set is what it's called. It's um, Empire Strikes Back 30 years. I love this set. I don't love all of the pins in it as much as some of them. Let me show you up close. My favorite is Boba Fett. I used to wear him all the time to Disney, like for Star Wars weekends. I don't know why I ended up getting rid of him and selling him. I just thought, I guess I wasn't into Star Wars. I didn't need it. I needed the money or whatever. You know how it goes. This guy, he's the rebel pilot. I just don't like him as much because, you know, I'm not a Star Wars fan, so he's not super cool to me. I like the Darth Vader one a lot. These are pin on pin elements. I like the Yoda one. I love this one. The was that an at at? I don't like that as much. I know that he's you know often people's favorite characters. I just don't like that one as much. But they are really really pretty set. I do have a few of these left in my store. I think these three for sale. I'm so excited to see what's in here. Okay, you guys, there's a fly on my porch flying around. I can't get rid of. So sorry, it's annoying me. I hope it doesn't annoy you. It seems to want to come and land on my pins. I don't know why. So this is, uh, it says 450, I think that's yen. So like I said, it's probably um, from Tokyo or Hong Kong. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to see what's in here. But you guys can't guess. Take a guess. That's what, my, that's what my dad always says. Take a guess. I would guess a wreath. You can't see, but it's, I can see little colors underneath, some bright colors. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> I've never seen that set. Three, six, nine pins. Oh my gosh, let me show you up close. This is gorgeous. It just says on the middle one, Disney's Puzzle Pin Collection. And each one of these pins is two-toned. See, they fade the colors. And they're, look at that, super shiny, high quality, gorgeous pins. I've never seen this puzzle set. They're nine individual puzzle pins that link together. Wow, they're just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Now when I see a set like this, I don't know anything about, and you're probably like, well how do you find out information? Like if you wanna know more about that set, the age, where it came from, the best bet would be go to pinpicks.com, which is like the largest pin database online. And um, hopefully there's information about that if you just use the keyword search and try to find it. The next one is definitely from Hong Kong because it says it on the thing. These, you guys, are keepers. These are my dad's personal, ooh, personal ones. These old ones like this. This is a jumbo castle that's absolutely gorgeous. That is so, so pretty. That's three layers of pins. This is a pin on pin. This huge castle is a pin on pin layer. And then this background is another layer. Oh my goodness. So that's the grand opening of Hong Kong Disneyland. And I think this is an Imagineer pin. Let me take it out and look. Yeah, I was right. It's a Walt Disney Imagineering, which means you have to be a cast member, a Disney Imagine, like a cast member to buy them. See, it says cast exclusive there. And an LE of a thousand. That's so pretty. I love castle pins. I'm sure everyone loves castles. Ah, so pretty. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I don't make these to show off or to be like, aha, oh, look at these cool pins I have and you don't because I know that a lot of new pin traders have started these last few years. <clears throat> Not because of me. And, um, you know, when you're new to pin trading and you've just started, a lot of these newer pins you see and the newer jumbos you see, they're just not like these older ones that you just don't find. And you guys might never know that these kind of cool pins exist. So what I'm showing you are things that you can add to your wish list. That's what I do when I go around looking at other people's pins. I see something I really love. I go put it on like my pin picks once or just in my memory or something so I know what's out there. I love seeing all these new cool pins I've never seen and I hope you guys are enjoying it also. So it looks like we got some Christmas going on. Happy Holidays 2007 Jumbo. And you know what I got, I say right here, I think it's really, I know prices change throughout the years but pins are so expensive now. It's not like, it's not like, you know, our paychecks have been up an increase enough to for the price of the pin increase. Jumbos used to be $25, $35. An expensive big jumbo was like $45. Now it seems like any cheap jumbo is, you know, $50, $60, $75 dollars and up, you know, even not even for a low, low LE. You know, I just think that's just a lot. <laughs> but I'm kind of thrifty and, and broke, so <laughs> and I already spent my entire life savings on pins, so I'm gonna open this up. I should have done it before I turned it on. <laughs> Come on. There we have it. That's a gorgeous Christmas pin. I do collect Halloween and Christmas holidays. I normally don't like it to have a ton of writing on it, but I like that this is a like a gold metal, a very light. You can't hardly see it on the on the white glitter snow. This is really unusual. I've never seen a pin with so many little uh, like slider elements, or not sliders, but they move around. Every one of these little icons on the tree, the ornaments, they twist, they turn. It's like a little slider element. There's one, two, three, four, five. Those are really cool. And the Chip and Dale is pin on pin, and the Pluto is pin on pin element. And then I like Minnie in her little pink and purple. The colors, you know, are just different from the normal Christmas outfits they wear. I love it. We're going to go for this Halloween one next. Oh, you guys, this is August. 
Halloween is going to be here before you know it. Who of you loves, absolutely loves the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party? And that parade, can't you just hear it now? Boo! To you! <laughs> I love it! This is from 2010. It's an Ellie of 500 and it was $35. I do have an extra one of these. I'm not sure if I'm going to list it in my store or just save it for like a frame set or something. It's so pretty. I love it. It is pin on pin elements. Three layers. Um, looks like these guys are one layer. The boo to you and there's like a fence behind them is a second layer. And then the background is the third layer. I love it. The Haunted Mansion. The Mickey Icon Moon with the bats. Oh, look at it. It has everything. It's perfect. Love it. Let's do another Christmas since we're doing holidays. This one's from Hong Kong, Disneyland. The box looks pretty. Special edition. I don't know if that's actually like a limited edition or not. It was 150, I don't know what they're called, Hong Kong dollars. <laughs> oh, let's see. Ooh, uh, very nice. It's like a diorama, almost. Let me take it out. Oh yeah, look, it's like a diorama, which is like a 3D, you know, base like that. That's a really cool jumbo. Next is a featured artist, which is like a artist choice. This featured artist means like they picked a certain artist to highlight their pin that they designed and it tells you information usually inside about that artist, like a little sheet or something. This is a limited edition of $7.50 from 2007 and it cost $25. Oh, let's see what it is. This, I love the thrill of the surprise. Not that I can open them well. <laughs> mm, come on. Oh, oh my gosh, I love it. That's so pretty. I've never even seen that before. That is truly a gorgeous jumbo pin. The colors are so like bright and perfect. The little flowers, minis posing next to that huge flower. So the bottom layer, mini and this orange flower is a layer. And Mickey is another, actually no, this little arm that moves is like a third layer. And looks like Mickey's the fourth layer. I love the classic beautifulness of it. It's just wonderful. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Dad, for collecting such awesome pins that hopefully one day I can enjoy also. <laughs> I'm gonna be like uh, taking all these like, can I wear this today, Dad, please? Dad, can I push this into my wall for this next month so I can enjoy looking at it for spring, please? Just to show you guys, I've only just taken off the little few top layer of pins. There's no way I'm gonna continue with this same video. I'm gonna have to do at least another one or two videos. Oh, there's so many. So let's see what we got here. Come on, focus, focus. Trade City USA was another pin event at Epcot, one of the large ones you need to pay to go to. This is an Ellie of $250 and it was $30. That sounds like a deal to me. Now my dad did show me this pin last night and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen it. I can't believe he got it. I love it. Now see, my dad, you guys might be like, there's just nothing wrong with this. He's a coin collector. So to him, getting the rarest things is what's collectible. So if it's like an LA25 pin, it doesn't matter if it's ugly. He would want it because it's rare and he wants to collect the rare cool pins. Whereas I'm not like, you know, if it's not a pretty pin, it doesn't matter if it's super rare, I don't want to keep it just because it's rare. I'm not one of those collectors. But he is, and so not only does he love cars, he's a man, but he loves, you know, low LE pins like this. So he got it, he kept it. Oh my gosh, let me open it up. It's so pretty. So 
the Trade City event was for the 10 years of pin trading in 2010. So, um, you know, like I said, the pin trading started in 2000. So 2010 was 10 years of pin trading and they did it all up with all kinds of like 10, 10, 10 pins and stuff. And this one is the Trade City Tours uh, trolley bus, double decker bus. Uh, the wheels are little like metallic icons. Mickey is pin on pin element, him and this little bus front part right here. Um, there's Pluto coming out of the back. I like the little silhouettes. Look, I didn't notice them at first. It's Pinocchio, Gaston, and Simba. And the, I love that all that little gold lattice work is gold metal inlay. It's just so detailed and gorgeous. I love it. And the thing with jumbo pins is that there are different sizes. A jumbo doesn't mean it has to be like a certain size. They have what I call a mini jumbo, which is kind of tiny for size. They have a normal jumbo, which are like these. And they have large jumbos, and they actually have like super jumbos, which are just huge. And I do have the different sizes. I'm gonna once I go through all these in the different videos, I'll pull. I'll leave out the different comparisons and show you guys probably in the last one so this is gonna be the last one for this video I hope you watch more if you want to see the rest of these if you like these kind of videos let me know in the comments and I'm glad that I could help you guys show you guys this cool stuff um, happy trading happy collecting thank you guys